In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up domain aliases for a WordPress multi-site network. We're looking here at the codex for WordPress multi-site. And this information is all about how to set up WordPress to do multi-site. We're not going to look at that in this video. We've done a whole different series on it already on OS Training. What we're going to look at is what your system administrator does to make domain names work for that. And fortunately, it's really easy with Desktop Server. Let's take a look. I'm going to restart with Privileges. Now, this is the first time we've run the premium version in this series. And you can see we have some extra options. We can enable Dreamweaver support and Coda Editor support. I'm not using either of those, so I'm going to leave them off right now. And then we'll hit Next. Now there are some extra options here because we're running Premium. We can create or edit sub-domain aliases, which we're going to look at in a moment. And then we can export, import, or share a website. And we'll look at those in a different video. But for now, let's click on Create or Edit Subdomain Aliases. Now the way multi-site works is that you have one install of WordPress. And you have multiple domain names pointing at it. Then when you go to one domain name, WordPress knows which one you're asking for and serves the proper content. All of that knowing which one you're asking for is the material that I showed you a moment ago in the codex. What we're going to work on setting up is making multiple domain names work for the same install of WordPress. So I'm going to make them work for wp41.dev. And then this box is going to hold the additional domain names. So I'll simply add one. Let's call it Bigfoot. And then I'll add another one. We'll call it Nessie. And then I'll hit Next. Now it's restarting Apache and MySQL. And now it's done. So now I have some sites that are under WP41. And if I go to one, it's actually going to the main site because I have not yet set up multi-site within WordPress. At the moment, I don't care. I simply want to know that my domain names are going to the right place. Then later I can set up multi-site on WordPress. And it looks like it's working very well. And that's great. So that's all there is to it, actually. If we go to Remove, Copy, or Move Existing, those child sites are not available. Because they're not actually sites. They're simply aliases to WP41. Now if we choose Create or Edit, we can go back switch to WP41, and we could add or remove. So I'm actually going to remove these because I don't need them. I'm not really running multi-site. Now in order for all this to work, once you've created these aliases, you need to go into WordPress, set up multi-site, and then tell WordPress that those aliases are going to be coming here. Otherwise, it won't know what to do with them. And that's all there is to setting up domain aliases with Desktop Server. 